Okay, so you guys remember, think back three years ago. Romantic dinner number one. That's right, the very first romantic dinner I did, and I never did another one. I don't know why I started numbering them if I wasn't gonna do any more, right? Well, we're doing a two-part series right now, and it's for romantic dinner number two. This is the next level. This is if you get a second date. So <laughs> I hope you haven't been waiting. Like, oh, honey, you know, I'm just waiting for Jack to do another recipe, and then we'll go on a second date. Three years later, she's married somebody else. All right, so here you go. This is uh, romantic dinner number two. Uh, we're going to be doing braised short ribs over a bed of garlic mashed potatoes. So all you need is about three and a half pounds of potatoes. We're going to cube these up in a moment, throw them in some water and get them cooking. Need some garlic cloves, some half and half. I have this big thing of kosher salt. I'm only going to use a pinch of it in the water. And some Parmesan cheese. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to eyeball this, but you want to put in about two tablespoons of kosher salt. There we go. Then gently put in your potatoes. So you don't splash all over. And then you're gonna to wanna to bring this to a boil, so get it on a high heat. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to take your cloves of garlic and you wanna take your cloves of garlic and give them a good crush. There you go. Just smash them up there. You can take your little saucepan, throw them in your saucepan. All right, open up your half and half. There we go. You're gonna want 16 ounces. There we go, beautiful. Bring your saucepan over, just pour it right in there with the garlic. You're gonna set this on the stove next to the potatoes that are boiling. Once the potatoes start boiling, you're gonna to wanna to simmer this together and get the garlic integrated with the cream. Okay, now that you're at the low boil, you're gonna go over here and start this cream simmering. Okay, so we've strained all the potatoes from the water and then we're gonna bring the cream over now. We're gonna put that in there. Beautiful. Now, if you have a potato masher, then use a potato masher. If you don't, then do what I'm doing and improvise. So what I'm going to do is just do it the lazy man's way. Okay, give that a, a good smash around. Now it looks really loose, doesn't it? Don't worry about it. We're going to be fine. Okay, before I let this cool and thicken, I like to throw in a little bit of parsley flakes. A little black pepper. I almost forgot, it's the cheese. While it's nice and warm, we wanna mix the Parmesan cheese in here. This makes all the difference in the world. Well, I don't wanna forget the cheese, do you? There you go. Get that all worked in. Okay, let's give us a try. Mmm. Oh, wow. That Parmesan cheese makes it. The garlic, the cheese, the mashed potatoes being so fresh. Now the best part, it's time to do the ribs. <laughs> 